Hello, today I would like to show you a recipe for one of my favorite chicken soups puree that I've been making in the last couple years and me and uh, my family seem to really enjoy it. It's a perfect recipe especially for rainy days like today. It's gloomy and it's perfect for comfort food. So here's a quick overview of all of the ingredients. I wrote it down as I was tracking myself down <laughs> on each ingredient. Overall, you'll need two liters of water. You'll need a huge potato, much bigger than your fist. Any potato will do. I use a uh, russet potato. You'll need an onion, two medium carrots. You'll need an eight ounce tub of sour cream. I like to use light sour cream, but I do suggest not using fat free, not using it. Either whole milk or light would do best. Then I use low sodium chicken broth. You'll need about one cup of it. Or mm, you can also use one cube of bouillon, chicken bouillon, if you use those instead. Or chicken um, uh, stock will do fine too. Then you'll need one large chicken breast that we're going to shred into small pieces. You'll need one cup of rice. Here I'm using white rice that comes in the bag. It evens. Uh, evens out to be one cup. You can use brown, black, red, whatever rice you want. Then you need a half a tablespoon of black pepper and you need a full tablespoon of salt. You'll need four or five bay leaves of medium size or a bunch of small ones or a couple of large ones. They usually don't do too much damage <laughs> to the flavor so you can really add or take away as many as you want. And the main ingredient that I add is this Khmeli Suneli. You will need about half of the uh, tablespoon for the whole soup of it. It's a very interesting spice. It's, it's quite Russian <laughs> tasting and smelling. Well, I should say Russian Federation because it's not really a Russian, <laughs> but it's used mostly by, by us. And I believe you cannot get that from uh, American stores or English stores. Um, I will try to post a link with this brand specifically because I do enjoy this brand um, for this spice specifically because it can differ depending on the brand. So overall, this is all of our ingredients. So now we're going to chop them all up and then prepare them. In the last few years, uh, I've been using this little chopper that I got from Amazon. Back then it was about 15 bucks. I'll try to find a link if I can find it. It's super handy. I chop everything in it. So I chopped chicken in this um, chopper for this recipe, shredded it into very, very tiny pieces, almost like ground chicken at that point, and then just put it into boiling water. Then I uh, roughly chopped potatoes and put that in this blender as well, chopped that up. Now I'm gonna uh, cut up carrots and onions into chunks as well and I'm going to chop them into small uh, paste as well and I'm just putting everything into the boiling water and letting it cook for quite some time. So I very often add all of my ingredients all at once. I know some people do it step by step and allowing one ingredient to cook after the other. I usually literally put them all together as I'm chopping it. So I add shredded chicken first, then I add potatoes, then onions with carrots, then whatever celery or anything else that I want to add as far as vegetable goes. Then I add rice right into that mixture as well. And then I add, then I add sour cream directly in there as well. Once you add sour cream, you will notice that it will become more pasty, like more, um, like lighter color more creamy consistency this is what sour cream does if there's some chunks trust me they're gonna boil down into nothing and it's just gonna be one big soup <laughs> mush. so I let it boil for about 40 minutes after this more on a simmer medium boil just so it, it um, shrinks down a little bit and becomes more of a puree I don't add spices uh, right away, I add them at the end once everything's prepared and cooked because simply I'm going to take some portion of it and serve it to my daughter as a puree on the side with, so it doesn't have spices. So let's leave it on for let's leave it on to simmer for about 40 minutes. 
All right, so it has been around 50 minutes since I uh, left it simmering. Definitely looks much more boiled down, much more pasty. So now I'm gonna try pureeing it. You don't have to do it because this is already pretty pureed. All right, so pureeing it down definitely helped to make it into a real puree soup. So now I'm just gonna add some spices. I add a little paprika just to see if it's going to add a kick or not. Just to feel like I need more spices. Okay, now this is perfect. So I added a sprinkle of paprika and it added a little bit of heat, which I really enjoyed today. So I think this is going to be a winner. Maybe a really just a splash of paprika could add a lot. So. I'm going to serve it with some nice dinner roll. That's nice and warm as well. So let's try it out. I love that uh, Hemelis and Nelis spice really gives it an almost Middle Eastern um, flair to a little bit. There's lots of vegetables that you get on your tongue right away too. You get some onions and potatoes and all of it is quite nicely blended. I do like the soup not blended as well, just chopped into pieces and then boiled. Chunky, this soup is quite nice too. I just prefer to blend it lately. Mm. Perfect for this kind of weather.